Hey there guys, um, it is like 3 a.m. and I am bored so I am making some videos. Um, I am like 5-6 days pre-op um, gastric bypass surgery and I wanted to do a video talking about the uh, pre-op testing and what you can expect. Um, I have my pre-op testing, today is the uh, 5th of April and mine was on the like 29th of last month. Um, basically, when I came in, they um, sent me to um, a certain area. I don't know what it was called in the hospital. Um, I had my own room. That was nice. Um, that way I didn't have to go from department to department and be thrown around all day. Um, but of course, you can't eat um, after midnight. Um, eat or drink anything, take your meds, nothing. Um, although talk to your doctor about that because there may be some meds you are allowed to take, but for me I wasn't allowed to. Um, when I got there, the first thing they did was um, I had to fill out a bunch of paperwork, um, had to fill out this paper for um, a meeting with a dietitian. Um, let's see, um, they did a chest x-ray. So, of course, you had to change into the wonderful hospital gown um, that's so lovely. And um, then after that, <laughs> the most memorable thing was having my blood taken. Um, I have three children, so I am not a wuss when it comes to needles. However, um, they took 15 large vials of blood. Um, after about 10, I was turning a little lightheaded. Um, and these weren't the small, regular side vials. These were large vials, and it wasn't pleasant. So, if you have an issue with needles, you might want to lay down and be prepared. I was sitting up, and then, of course, not having any food in your stomach doesn't help either. Um, then, I also met with an exercise professional, I guess. And kind of went over a routine for me for now and um, for after surgery because um, of course exercise is so important not just your diet um, but you really once you're able to work out um, they tell you that in order to lose weight you really need to work out five days a week um, and you're talking like an hour at a time um, so really look into that and try to get started if you can you know, if you're a pre-op, get started on it beforehand. Um, I also met with a discharge nurse um, to kind of go over my care for after surgery um, and kind of what to expect when I'm in, you know, in the hospital and admitted. Um, I also met with an internal medicine doctor um, to let me know what meds I needed to stop now. Because um, I know things like ibuprofen, um, naproxen, they want you to stop that at a minimum of 10 days before surgery. Some may want you to stop before, even before that. Um, so they're, you know, they kind of go over your list of meds. They want you to bring all your meds with you um, and take care of that. Um, I also met with... Um, I guess like the head nurse of the floor um, and she showed us the leg compressors that they put on your calves on your way I guess you'll wake up after surgery with those um, and it's to help keep from getting blood clots because um, that's one big concern they have during surgery um, and then also you have the drain tube the wonderful catheter that's probably the worst part um, and then the like girdle <laughs> for you guys it's not really a girdle it just looks like it um, it's just to help for comfort to make you feel better um, you know and like I said just told us what to expect and I was in a little group of people and that was kind of nice um, and then after the thing was said and done you were able to put your clothing back on um, it kind of went over you know nutrition wise and then the diet that you're going to have for six weeks after, and then, you know, even after that. Um, they went over, 
Um, she gave us little samples of different protein drinks to try. Unfortunately, most of them was quite nasty. Um, I guess I'll just have to get used to that. Um, they had us try the protein. Um, it's like a... Man, I need to get these packets out. I'll have to show you guys because I still have most of them. Um, one is supposed to taste like chicken broth and it really wasn't that bad. So, thank God I at least found one that was okay. Um, and she had us try these calcium lodgences thingies. However you say that word. Um, anyways, those weren't bad either. Because um, you need 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams or whatever of calcium a day. Um, and then, you know, your protein, depending on the surgery for the room Y, is um, 60 to 80 milligrams. And they had us take this little, like, test to see what we knew and went over it. Um, so that was interesting. The neatest thing was get to meet a couple other people that are going to be going through the surgery around the same time as me. Um, one of the gentlemen um, is having the, the same surgery the same day as me by the same surgeon. His is just right after mine. Um, so it was neat to meet him because then I'll probably see him as we're doing our little walks through the hospital and I can say hi and um, I thought that was kind of cool. And on that note, um, I do recommend people going to um, the, what are those, the little meetings, the group meetings um, with other people who have had the surgery or going to have the surgery. Um, those are a real good help. And I guess statistics or studies say that uh, people who go to those have 30% better weight loss um, than those who don't. So that support, I guess, is really helpful. Um, so it's something to look into. I'm sure your surgeon, you know, if you talk to him, they, they probably have a list. Um, mine's going to be at Miami Valley Hospital um, in Dayton. And they have theirs there. So it's, it's something good to look into. Um, I'm going to look into it afterwards. Because the next one they have scheduled is the day after my surgery. So I don't really think I'm going to be going anywhere. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much the whole pre-op testing. Um, I did have to have the... Um, where they put the scope down your throat and look into your stomach... Um, that was not nothing like what I thought it was going to be. Oh, I was so scared about that. And it wasn't anything. Um, they were real nice. Got me in. Got the IV in. Got the medicine in. Um, next thing you know, I was off in La La Land. And the worst thing was, is I gagged a little bit. Um, I guess that's expected. And it wasn't bad. And I didn't feel any pain. They did the biopsy and took a little piece, like a little sample of the inside of the stomach um, to check for H. pylori, which is a really bad, like, stomach thing. And they give you antibiotic if you have it, so it's not that big of a deal if you do. Um, but I haven't heard anything, so apparently I'm fine. Um, but yeah, um, recovery from that was like 45 minutes. It wasn't bad at all. I mean, I was so scared about that. Um, but I didn't feel any pain at all. So if you have to have that, I forget what it's called, um, where they just stick the scope down into your esophagus and into your stomach and just look around. Um, it's not bad. Don't worry about it. Um, but I'm almost out of time. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free. Um, and that's it, guys. Talk to you later. I'll try to update uh, one more time before surgery. Thank you.